Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with personalbrandingforprofit.com. Thank you so much for watching my video. So have you ever wondered how you can import your Instagram feed right onto your website, just like we're doing for my client here? I think it looks really, really adorable and it's really simple to do and it just also helps keep your website maintenance down to a very minimal level because you can add this really cool feature to your website uh, and connect it with Instagram and not have to update it because as you in as you update your Instagram it automatically feeds into your website and it just it just creates a really cool look so if you want to know exactly how we did this for my client then keep on watching <laughs> So here's a really awesome website that we are working for, working on for one of my clients. Uh, right now we are using the Divi theme and if you don't know what the Divi theme is, you can go ahead and uh, check out the description box and I'll have a link for the Divi theme uh, below. My two favorite themes, if you've been following me for any amount of time, is Thrive themes. I absolutely love Thrive themes, especially for internet marketing and lead generation. And I absolutely love Divi theme because Divi theme gives you the aesthetics. So if you are working with a client that uh, they really, really want more flexibility and more aesthetics and the ability to put in, you know, uh, things like banners and stuff like that. Divi gives you that option. Uh, so I love them both for different reasons. So anyhow, so uh, as you can see, we are actually working on this website and I thought, you know, let me share with you exactly how to, um, you know, import your Instagram feed. So it looks really pretty like this. I absolutely love it. Not to mention my client has an amazing Instagram feed. So I mean, how can you, how can you say no to that beautiful face? So let me show you exactly how to do this uh, really simply, really quickly in Divi. Uh, so let's go ahead to the back office of my client's website and you'll see that um, right here. And uh, what I love about Divi is that you can create the modules and you can name the modules. That way, when you're scrolling through the back, you know exactly what module is where. So I really, really love that. So basically, when you're laying out your website, um, we're working on the, uh, this is the home page right now, but when you're working on the website in Divi, all you have to do is add a module. Now, to do the Instagram feed, I wanted it to be a full width, completely full width without any uh, interruptions. I want it to go from one end of the website to the other end of the website, okay? So which, the first thing you're going to want to do is, in using uh, Divi, is you want to create a, a full width section, okay? So you're going to create a full width section. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to insert a module and the module is the full width code. <laughs> and you might hear my doggy. Uh, <laughs> my dog is in the background. So you're going to need the full width code module because you're going to enter a little snippet of code right here. OK, so let me show you exactly how we did this. So if you go right here, you're going to see that I have an Instagram feed code. OK. Now, how do we get this? Well, the first thing you need in order to put the code in there is that you're going to need to download a very simple plugin. So let's just go ahead and go find the plugin. And the name of this plugin, actually, it's called Instagram Feed, okay? So if you want to go ahead and add this plugin into your own website, you want to go ahead and click on Add New. And just enter here Instagram Feed, okay? And you'll see this is the one that I have installed, okay? It is by Smash Balloon. And uh, obviously all you have to do is if you want to, I mean, this already appears active, so I'm gonna show you with the one right here. All you have to do is click Install Now, and then it'll give you the Activate button. And then all you have to do is click on the blue Activate button, and you are good to go, and then it is installed, okay? So once the Instagram feed is installed, you're going to go right here, and you're gonna click on Instagram feed, okay? Now the very first thing it's gonna say is it's going to make you, um, 
It's going to make you validate uh, your API, which is the connection that your blog and the Smash Balloon software makes with Instagram. So as soon as you install the plugin, go ahead and click on this button and it will do a, ver a, uh, a, um, a validation for you and it will create the token. Okay, so once you grab the token, you're going to go ahead and copy and paste the access token here and it will give you a user ID, which is what you're going to put in here, okay? So make sure and go ahead and do that. All right, now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna go to customize. Now I really didn't change anything here other than the number of the photos. So you might play around with it because depending on you know how your website layout is you might want to mess around with it a little bit at first I, I started with 20 photos which is the default uh, it was way too many photos and I didn't want that many and then I did 10 and then since it was in uh, four columns it didn't look right so I had to add a couple more so that I ended up with three rows of four columns okay so just play around with these numbers until the website looks exactly the way you want it see I had done um, 10 photos so all I had was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then these two were blank so I had to make it uh, I had to round it up to 12 so it would be you know a multiple of four okay so and uh, so that way I have three rows with four going across which I think is perfect I don't want that many pictures okay and then of course you can load more from right here because the plugin allows you to load more okay and then you could also just click on here to follow on Instagram okay so anyway so this is basically the only real thing you're gonna have to really mess with right here under the photos, the number of photos and the columns that you want, okay? And now it's gonna say display your feed. All you have to do is grab this feed, okay? You're gonna copy it um, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go back into the page that you're working on, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and find the page, edit. And we're gonna go back to my Instagram feed right here. And if you wanna know where to put this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this. The reason that it has a number there from before is because um, I, when I first installed the plugin, I had to log into my client's account. Um, so I was testing to see if I could just use their user ID to get it to work, but you, you have to do the API connection. You have to validate it. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. And then your admin label label, which I absolutely love this about Divi is right here. You can name your, your, um, the modules that way you can quickly identify them as you're scrolling through the back. Okay. So then we save that and we update here. All right, and we'll refresh and it should still come out because it's pulling from his Instagram feed. And that is it. And that is how you pull in your Instagram feed. Now, when you click on these pictures, it's going to go directly to your Instagram account. Okay. But what I love about this is, is that, you know, as you continue to uh, upload photos to your Instagram, since you are, uh, since you're sorting this from newest to oldest, you'll always have fresh content on here and you'll never have to upload anything or uh, configure anything. This will feed directly from your Instagram account. So if you're really, really big on Instagram and you wanna just add that extra little oomph to your website, this is a really great feature that I highly recommend that you add. I mean, look at these faces. Are you kidding me? So anyway, this has been Barbie Figaro. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about importing the Instagram feed or about this plugin, uh, you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. If you found that this webs that this tutorial was valuable, please make sure and share it with your friends. Um, otherwise, make sure to visit my website at www.personalbrandingforprofit.com. So me and my team can help you get your business off the ground, build a beautiful website for you, get your marketing plan going so that you can build your dream business online. So this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next video. Bye. Don't let design and tech frustration keep you from building your dream business online. I got you covered. 
Visit my website now and download my free online business welcome toolkit and discover how to ditch the drama of launching your business on the internet. You'll instantly receive a list of my must-have tools, learn how I launched my own business online, and how we can work together to breathe life into your business. I'll also help you solve the seemingly complicated puzzle pieces of online marketing and you'll learn exactly why your website is the center of your marketing universe and how to convert it into the most valuable asset in your business that keeps working for you. So forget the tech and design frustration and leave all the fun stuff to us. Make sure to visit my website at www.personalbrandingforprofit.com and download your free online business toolkit today.